How to use beacons.ai for email marketing. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about Beacons AI and how to actually use it for email marketing. Now, Beacons AI is mostly known for link in bio, but it does offer quite a lot more. It does offer your online store. It does offer email marketing, as you can see here. And um, you can even read more about it. So basically, um, you will need to just set up your Beacons AI account, get it started for free. Uh, now, there is a free version, but it's going to be very limited when it comes to the things that you can do. We can just test out the free version first, and then if you feel like you will need to upgrade, you can just go ahead and do so. But for the time being, we can just uh, start with the free um, account. So we can see here, it does include email marketing. Create and send emails to fans and build a complete email strategy from your link and bio. So you can just go ahead, learn more, and we can just go ahead and get started for free. Uh, but before we even do that, let me just talk about the pricing real quick because it may be important la later on. So we can see here we have three plans. We have the Creator Pro, Store Pro, and then Business Pro. So you can uh, you can just get to this page, beacons.ai, uh, and go to pricing and you can just go ahead feel free to compare them see which one actually suits you best um, and then if you scroll down a little bit more you can just go ahead and see that you have the free plan now it's not going to give you much uh, when it comes to you know other stuff here as you can see but you do get quite a lot especially when it comes to the link in bio but our focus here is going to be email marketing Let's test out the limits of email marketing uh, with beacons. So if you're just getting started, just sign up for free from here, or you can just go to the top and click on sign up. And then after you just click on that, you will need to just set up your username and continue on setting up your account. I'm, I already have an account. I'm just going to sign in, but you will need to go through, through these steps. Uh, I will just sign in and get back to you once I'm actually in the dashboard. Okay, so once you actually sign up, it should look a little something like this, where you'll find uh, your homepage. Here you can see some of the stuff that you can actually start doing. Uh, you have some analytics and so much more. Uh, usually you would want to start with your link in bio and just feel free to set it up as you would like. Um, I believe I already set up mine. And we can just go ahead and continue off. So you can just go ahead take your time when it comes to setting up your link in bio but again this is not what we are going to be talking about today um to get started with email marketing you will basically just go to email marketing from the left panel here so you can just click on that and then there's going to be a few options that we can actually go for um here we have the oh, let's just talk about the top uh, role first we have the overview which is going to show us exactly what we can do some of the templates and more stuff for example we can create an email with uh, a broadcast we can create automations uh, and we can do more stuff here with ai as well and then we have the broadcast uh, section here which is we can just create uh, our broadcast we can see the sent broadcasts and uh, scheduled drafts and more we have the list of automations here where we can actually go ahead and actually apply them and create ones if you want we have audience obviously is going to be self-explanatory and then we have set, uh, settings here so we have more stuff about the sender information and uh more information about yourself social links logo and avatar and so much more so let's just get started uh and if you are just basically uh signed up you would want to first go to audience and you will need to go ahead and import uh, your audience here so if you have been using a different platform for example you may want to just import them over to beacons.ai this way you can send out emails to the contacts that you already have so we can just go ahead go to audience from the top and click on import audience member now here we have uh, a few options we can add email addresses this is going to be uh, if you are going to add a few members so one or two um, but if it, it, it does get annoying, if you have like plenty of users that you want to add, so you may want to go for the upload a CSV file, which contains, uh, there, the emails of, uh, the contacts, or you can actually go ahead and import from a different tool. For example, MailChimp, uh, ConvertKit and Shopify and Stan store. If you already have that as well, 
so we have these options so if you have any contacts from one of these options you can just upload them so this is going to be the first step just go to uh, to any of these and just set them up accordingly and you can just add your contacts and in here you should find the list of your uh, contacts you will have the emails shown you have the phone numbers shown if available first name uh, last name if available and more stuff here about them as well which is going to be very very uh an insightful tool to have obviously uh settings you will need to just go ahead and set these up sender name sender uh address and more stuff here as well just take your time with the settings you will need to set it up before we even get started just so you can actually be more professional Automations, I will get back to that uh, in a sec. So let's talk about overview here and actually creating your email. So you would want to create your broadcast. So you can just go ahead to email marketing and click on broadcast from here, or you can just go to broadcasts from the tab up top and click on new broadcast. Here you will be given a few templates here to actually choose from. So we can just see the templates. Let, let it just load and get back to you. Okay, I have no idea why my my browser is not loading fast uh, like seriously no idea but anyway so let's say we want to use this one obviously you'll have plenty of templates to choose from but you can just feel free to choose whatever you want uh you can also filter between them uh, by category here but i'm just going to be using this one for example uh or maybe use the so uh, simple one no let's just use this one so you can actually go ahead and preview the actual template before you use it and if you like it, you can just go ahead and click on use template. And now you will need to obviously edit the um, things out here and make sure that you customize this to your liking. So here we have the first thing, which is going to be the header. Usually it's, go it's going to be your logo um, or an image or whatever. Maybe usually it's just going to be a logo here. So what we can do with the beacons here, we can just click on whatever we want to actually edit. For example, this text here, let's say recipe of the week. We want to change this. So we can just go ahead and simply change. It's not going to be too complicated for us to do. So um, just add some text. Oops, text in here. Uh, and now things have loaded. Yeah, you can see we have the uh, profile picture and we have the actual name. Uh, this could be your logo. This could be anything else. You can just change it from here within the header. Or you can just completely dismiss the header and delete it, which is completely fine. Uh, and then here we have the actual text. So again, you can just go ahead, highlight it, and then we can just set up the text. So we can just add even uh more text so here we can just see the text that we have here and we on the right side we have uh the actual options and elements of the actual block that we have selected so we have selected this one we can see we have this showing up which is a video it's not a image apparently so we can just go ahead and delete this and we can just click on add video and you want to go ahead and add the url and you can also add a thumbnail for it so we can just go ahead and delete this for the time being i don't really need to add a video uh obviously this is a video block so you would want to add one usually but here we have also the layout of the actual block so we can just go ahead and do for example grid third but, but we don't really have any video so it's not going to really show but you can just set up the layout uh, and for the design aspect, you can actually just change the design for this block. So, for example, we can make it a gray background and so much more. The top padding, bottom padding and so much more. So, same goes for this one. This is just a text. So, we can just go ahead and see uh, that it is a text block. We can just go ahead and change the text by choosing it. And just, you know, go ahead. Feel free to edit the text the way you like. Uh, font you can actually select it and so much more so we are good with this we can just go to the next one which is going to be a link block so we can just go ahead and add a um, whatever we want headline description and actual video or link to any website for example 
And we have even settings here for this one. We have uh, the headline and uh, the description. We can add them from the settings. Design is going to be the design aspect of the background and stuff. Again, it's going to be exactly the same. So you already can see editing things out from uh, beacons is very easy. You can just click on any block and you can have the settings on the right side. You can have text settings if it's an image or video for this sake. Uh, we be, were able to just go ahead and change the link to the video and so much more. Now, what if, if you don't want to actually edit something? You actually want to, to add something. To add something, you have a few things that you can actually do. You can just click on the space that you want to add. For example, here on the top, I may want to add the header again. I change my mind that I have deleted it and I just want to add it again. I have two options either click on the plus sign which is easier uh on here because it's going to just directly put it in there uh, or i can just click on design uh on the left side click on the plus icon and just click on add to the thing that we want to add which is the header uh, and now that we have added this i believe it's going to be down here so we can just go ahead and see that it is down here and we can just drag and drop it to the top uh, this is why we can just go to layout and make it so that it is side by side and image shape is going to be circle. There you go. So this is why I prefer to use these uh, plus icons here instead of the one on the left side, because instead of, you know, dragging and dropping uh, and all of that, we can just go ahead and delete this again. As you can see, when we actually add it from here, it's going to be at the bottom. But here we can just click on the plus on the top. And it's going to add it right there automatically. Again, we can just go to layout, change this, change that, and we are good to go. And now this is the email template done. Obviously, you will need to edit the entire thing. And then we can just basically click on next. And here you will need to just basically uh, add the subject line and preview line, uh, which is going to be a little text underneath, which is very, very important. So I'm just going to go ahead and add test. And here you will need to, uh, I'm just going to leave it empty and then we can just continue. Uh, and here you will have uh, the email type, which is going to be broadcast and you will need to add to the contacts here. So you can just go ahead and add them. Groups and emails are going to also be the same. So how you want uh, groups is going to be groups of contacts that you want to send it out to. You will need to set up this uh, previously. And obviously, I don't really have anyone to send it to, so I'm not really going to be able to do that. But it's going to be straightforward from here. Just click on review, review the actual email, and send it out, and you should be good to go. Let me just exit out of here. And you can just see it uh, from within the drafts now if you didn't actually send it, uh, which is actually going to be uh, very useful. You can just simply click on edit email, and you can just simply use that uh, from here. So this is pretty much how to send out emails. And if I didn't mention one thing is going to be the automations here. So we can just go ahead and click on new automation and you will have plenty of templates to choose from at first. So for example, the welcome email, which is something that is pretty much essential these days. When actually someone subscribes, you will, they will automatically get a welcome email. So you can just set up this one, for example, click on preview, use template. And, and then you can just edit things out again, exactly like we did with the other one. So just edit this text and all of this, click on next. Once you are done, give it a subject line preview line, and you should be good to go. And this is how to set up automations. So I believe it's very, um, clear now how to actually use email marketing with beacons.ai, at least for beginners and how to actually get started. Uh, and I believe the rest is going to be self-explanatory, so I don't really need to dive more deep into that. So hopefully you have liked this video and found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.